Korean Tetraphobia and the Power of Four in Asian Culture The number four. In many cultures, it's considered lucky, a symbol of balance and harmony. But in Korea, it takes on a different meaning, one steeped in superstition and tradition. Welcome to the world of Korean Tetraphobia, the fear of the number four. This phobia isn't a clinical diagnosis, but it's deeply ingrained in Korean society. The word sajib, which translates to four, also happens to sound eerily similar to sa, meaning death. This phonetic overlap has fueled centuries of fear and avoidance of the number four. So, how does tetraphobia manifest in everyday life? Here are some eye-opening examples. Buildings, many high-rises skip the fourth floor altogether, opting for 3F or 4F, usually four floor to avoid pronouncing the number. Hospitals, in particular, take extreme caution, sometimes even omitting room numbers that contain a four. Gifts, giving four of anything, be it flowers, fruits, or even cookies, is considered a major faux pas. It's seen as wishing death upon the recipient, making it a social blunder of the highest order. Language, Koreans have numerous alternative ways to express the number four without saying sajib. They might use descriptive phrases like the number after three or the corner one. The roots of tetraphobia can be traced back to ancient Chinese beliefs, where the number four was associated with death and misfortune. This association carried over to Korea, taking root in the Korean language and cultural psyche. However, tetraphobia isn't just about superstition. It also highlights the power of language and shared social beliefs. The mere sound of sajib evokes a sense of fear and negativity, shaping behavior and social etiquette. But is tetraphobia fading away in modern Korea? Not quite. While younger generations might be less superstitious, the fear of the number four still holds sway in traditional contexts. Respect for elders and cultural norms dictate that one remains mindful of tetraphobia, even if one doesn't personally subscribe to the belief. Exploring Korean tetraphobia offers a fascinating glimpse into the intersection of language, belief, and social norms. It's a reminder of how deeply ingrained cultural fears can be, and how they can continue to shape everyday life, even in a rapidly modernizing society. So, the next time you come across the number four in Korea, remember its hidden power. It's not just a number, it's a window into a rich tapestry of cultural beliefs and traditions.